Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Divya. Since now I completed my first semester of MBA in Thomson Rivers University in Canada, so I am gonna share my experiences with you. How the semester went? Uh, what's my review after that? My key points to inform each and everything. So during my first semester of MBA here, I had three subjects, which were Human Resource Management, that is HRM, Financial Accounting, FA. and marketing management so my professors were uh, tony bell for financial accounting debbie self for human resource management and uh, eric lien for marketing management so all these professors were good in teaching and uh, they were quite uh, clear up with what they would be expecting for grading and evaluation so and uh, so each professor had his own um you know grading criteria as in hrm wali teacher ko midterm bhi chahiye final exam bhi chahiye quizzes bhi chahiye assignments bhi chahiye case studies bhi chahiye uh, but uh, marketing professor ko final exam nahi lena tha so i didn't had my final exam for the marketing subject so uh, the professor decides what they want grade uh, the students tony bell which was a financial accounting unka midterm bhi hua and then final exam bhi hua and uh, of course there were assignments also uh, for the marketing subject so what happened was ki professor was quite clear that he would be grading us on the basis of two assignments each assignment had the 30% weightage so and apart from that attendance and you know project submission so final exam hua hi nahi for the marketing subject so yahan pe kya hota hai everything depends on the professor the professor decides if they want the final exam or they don't or they will be grading you on the basis of your assignments and project submission or uh, uh, if they want the midterm as well as assignments and case study final exam which happened in the case of hrm so everything is dependent on the professor here the professor will be informing you that what they will be demanding india se yahan pe uh, education ka bahut sudden shift hua because uh, india mein there is a set criteria you know wahan pe assignments hote hain final exam hota hai and attendance wagera so you know what criteria is required for every professor but yahan pe every professor has a different criteria and uh, continuous study so for my all of the subjects i had to submit either uh, assignment or quiz or there must be any midterm or any kind of exam for every subject i had to submit something every week so if you stay in touch about what uh, is going on you just can't have fun and you know i'll do it in the last you just can't do that you have to stay on track for every subject in mba um yahan pe three cohorts hote hain for the first year so that is cohort a b and c that you select you register your subjects before coming to canada i was in cohort b because of the time schedule uh you know all of my classes were in morning so mainly morning classes are more suitable compared to the evening classes but some of my friends are in cohort a and c and they were in the evening classes and uh, their professors were different from ours and uh, hrm ke professors the jo uh, who demanded them to submit the research paper so research paper is kind of a thesis long and you have to like make a proper case study on it and you have to submit it properly with the detailed content so Uh, some of my friends submitted the research paper in uh, HRM and marketing. You know, so it's it all depends on the professor here. Do not print your textbook before coming to Canada because ये गलती मैंने की थी. I printed all of my uh, I printed two of my subjects के books before coming to Canada because I thought it makes sense. No, you just print in a, a cheaper price in India and then you come here and then you are ready for the class. But then apparently I came to know that यहाँ पे even the textbooks or end of workbooks they want you to refer they tell you in your first class to koi yahan pe pehle se textbook print karne ka koi fayda nahi hai just wait for your first class let the teacher let the professor tell you what they want uh for you to uh refer. in case of financial accounting there was a specific workbook provided by the professor and not the textbook so i didn't even touch my textbook at all it's like new abhi and uh, so yeah in the first semester there are 5000 level courses that are basically foundation courses and uh, these are the prerequisites for the subsequent subjects that you will be studying in your second year or you know subsequent semesters so these subjects were comparatively easier of course i have in studied 6000 level courses that comparatively i heard they are bit difficult but yeah i mean 
you are doing MBA. Abhi so I have experience. It's like a basic courses, and the teachers were good enough to solve any queries and uh, ask them, and you, they they will guide you about what to do next and help you outside of the class also for doubts or anything else. And uh, also, time flies over here. Like I mean, my first semester is completed. I just came to Canada in August, and. Uh, it's now december so you don't get to know like where the time went i mean it, it all runs so fast time flies so fast and uh, you know pata nahi chalta abhi second semester start ho jayega and then my first year will be done i mean so fast so far my experience has been good because in india we only mug up the book and it's more theoretical based but here it's more practical based here case studies matter a lot because they prepare you for the on field experience that's the difference india mein you learn on the job here you are already ready for the job when you are studying a subject be it mba or you know other pjdm kind of subject so they give you more of a practical experience so that's a difference thoda se ye difference hua hai and uh, yeah so that was my first semester experience uh, in the second year so uh, there are basically three semesters and uh, It's your choice if you want to take up courses in the summer because in the summer we have a scheduled summer break. So it's on you if you want to take up the courses in summer and skip that scheduled summer break. Some people go for internship also in that summer break. But if you want to complete your degree faster, you can take up courses in that summer semester and you'll be saving a four months and uh, take up the full time job. And the professors list is out, so you can check out the professors rating on rate my professor as well. and uh, you can get to know choose your professors in that way so that was my honest review for the mba first semester in canada bye for now